Young person, I'm going to cut you short this time. I'm not going to even watch this video. Because I want to explain something to you like I explained to the Sergeant Willie Pete. You can only express your perspective. And telling your perspective to the people, you must do it in a manner to where they know it's only your perspective. I can say a million things about a billion things about why I don't like you. But that would be a lie. I love you. Based on who you are. I love you. Now, how can I say this about a person I don't know? It's because I give love. Because I was a person who never received it. In order to make things better around you, you must make the people around you feel better. Not degrading them or belittling them in any way, shape, or form. Pointing out flaws is belittling. Not saying anything positive is degrading. So how can I say something negative to you in a positive manner? How can I teach a young person that maybe all they know is wrong? I can only show you from my perspective. And in showing you from my perspective, I can only teach you to think differently. But I can't change the way you think. Do you understand that? I know you do. Now, I'm going to give you the same challenge that I gave to Sergeant Willie Pete. And if you don't reply, I'm just going to say fuck you and see you later. I will not watch your videos. Because I fought too hard to try to say something nice about black women. All women. Yet and still, you're a female Willie P. Capitalizing off an idea. Saying things that may not necessarily agree with you, but you still say them. You're just a copy. I'm tired of seeing people copy. I'm tired of seeing people assume that they're the same or better. I'm tired of seeing our people bow down to any people when there should only be one people. Do you understand that? I know you do. What I'm trying to say is this. You talk a pretty goddamn good game. But remember one thing. Willie Pete couldn't do it. I don't think you can either. And until you prove yourself, nothing you can ever say will mean anything. It'll just be hollow bunch of brilliant words strung together in some damn tapestry that you probably wrote down before you said it. True realism comes from the heart. And I don't change and I won't change. And the only thing that I can change is the way people perceive me. The way people think. I can never hate you or bash you for the things you're saying. Because you're speaking from your perspective. But in order for your words to have any power, you must show your face. And just like the coward that you may be, you won't show your face. Why am I calling you a coward? I don't even know you. But I just told you I loved you because I care about you. It's because I want to see you do something. I want to see you show yourself instead of hiding behind an image like the Sergeant Willie Pete did. You're worse than Willie Pete as a fraud because you won't show your face. To go into battle with any enemy and hide is truly cowardice. Some would say it's the greatest way to fight a battle. No one knows who you are. You can hide amongst people. I'm not trying to hide. I'm too old to be hiding from people. So I show my face. And if I got a problem with you, little sister, I'm going to tell you. I got a problem with you, little sister. Certain things need to be kept inside. Certain things need to be expressed in a different manner. But obviously you're not old enough to do that yet. You can't see beyond what Willie Pete has got you saying. You have felt deeper into Willie Pete's trap than anybody else I've ever seen on this YouTube. You, my friend, have lost it. Yeah, Jason's Lyric, wonderful movie wonderful fictional story she was cold as ice in the beginning of that video 
she thawed out and became a woman. Now, as far as you showing Jada Pinkett with the short hair and the long hair, I didn't like her in Woo at all. And the fact that she got one from short hair to long hair, that don't mean nothing. I understand what you're trying to prove that, see, she whitened up for a black man. Well, look at Will Smith. He played the lottery, and he won. But you fail to realize she was doing the same shit he was doing. And another thing, since we're on Will Smith, why is it when somebody get their hand out of the gutter, get on that rail and pull themselves out, why is it they have to leave somebody behind? Now understand what I'm saying. Me and my wife been together forever. If I fell in a hole, and the hole had $95 million in it, and I climbed out that hole with that money, there's no way in life, no way in life, now that I'm upgraded myself, I'm going to upgrade my wife. See, people fail to realize the difference between now and then. Now we can, then we had to. And in the end, it comes down to your choices. If you choose to go on this road that you're on and stay on it, then you will ride down this road by yourself. If you choose to show your face and speak only from your perspective, only, this is what I see, then I'll ride with you to the end. But you don't need me. I might not be white enough for you to ride with. I might want something from you. I might need you for something. And that comes to my next question. Would you help me? If you saw me in distress, would you help me based on who I am? I'm a man who needs help. Would you help me? Or would you say, that black man needs help? That black man wants me to do something for him. That black man wants something of me. Would you help me? If it was dark, and my car was broke down on the side of the road, and all I wanted you to do was use your cell phone, call for me, would you help me? Would you help me? Probably not. But I can say one thing right now. You wouldn't stop to help anybody white either. There's a certain selfishness in your voice. There's a certain I, what, me. So, you're speaking from your perspective. I'd like to see your face. Before you can say every black man has an ugly soul, a dark side, you need to understand every white man has a dark side too. Everybody has a dark side. Good and evil lives each in each and every one of us. How you choose to use your good forsaking your evil. See, this is my evil right here. My evil, I channel it in a manner that comes off as if it was positive. Notice how I slowed down in order to speak because I'm thinking at the same time I'm speaking. I'm not reading from some script. And yes, there's this one part in the movie where Suge says to be real. Speak from the inside out, not from the outside in. Understand what I mean from the outside in? Like I said, when you read the script, Reading it from the outside to try to pull out something from the inside. Why do you think people watch my videos? They watch my videos because I bash Willie Heat. They watch my videos because I'm going to be bashing you and everyone like you. My goal is to speak positive. And if I say something negative, it's going to have a positive outcome. Or I pull it. You've been tubed. I'll be hearing from you soon.